order for something wet to dry, the liquid water on it must evaporate. To evaporate simply means for liquid to turn to a vapor, a gas. But does water need to boil for it to evaporate? Well, what about the water in your hair and on your skin after a shower? What about when you get out of a pool or spill something? Does that water boil in order to evaporate? Boiling and evaporating are two different things. Water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, but water will evaporate at almost any temperature with two requirements. There must be room in between the molecules of air above the water, and the water molecules must have enough energy to escape from the surface of the liquid. Having enough energy is easy. All molecules in any state of matter are in constant motion. Whether it's the slow vibration of a solid, a liquid with more energy, or a gas with the most energy of all. It's this molecular motion that causes the water molecules to smash into each other, constantly colliding and transferring energy. The molecules on the surface are also getting energy from being slammed into by air molecules, giving those surface water molecules a lot of energy, so much so that they will rip away from the bonds holding them together as water and float off as a gas. But only if the second requirement is also met. There must be room in the air for the water to fit. If the air is already filled with water, as in it's very humid, no more water can evaporate. Temperature isn't the biggest factor with water evaporating. It's actually humidity.